Welcome back everybody to another package unboxing. Today we have some really cool crazy bones in this box and these are uh, some of the legendary ones from Superstars, our little flocked fuzzy friends that are maybe loved and more than likely hated by a lot of the <laughs> the people in the community not a lot of people seem to like superstars but i do find that they are pretty cool at least some of them and if you can keep them clean and they don't deteriorate and fall apart like most of them do they're actually pretty sweet. Personally, I have a good little chunk of them in my collection, which I'll showcase and show off what I do have. I've been trying to get all the most wanteds from the series, and that should be complete with what's in this box, so let's open it up. There's also another little feature with superstars that I'm curious to know everybody's thoughts on in the community. Do you guys like these things or not? I'm talking specifically about the little lego brick system that you could put your crazy bones in you could stack them do stuff with them this lot of crazy bones actually has a bunch of them and i do not have a lot of them but i would like to make some kind of display with them so i'm curious to know your thoughts and if you guys like those things or if you prefer not to use them here they are actually Ooh, they're, oh oh ah that is loud holy crap here they are so we've got our little lego brick system you can stack them put your crazy bones in them I find that they're a little bit awkward of a size for the Crazy Bones. I wish they were a little bit more square and small, but I guess you can fit two of them in each, which is fine, but you can make sort of like a whole connecting thing with these, put them on a shelf or what have you. So this lot had a good number of them, which is awesome because I've only got like one from like the single pack of superstars that I've opened up. I've only ever found like one sealed pack in the past like two years of superstars. If anybody knows or has any of the superstar packs, let me know because I'd be interested. Some of them don't stick together as perfectly as I would have hoped, especially kind of doing it like this. Yeah, they're just not quite fitting together how I'm hoping they would. You kind of just have to stand them on top of each other because when you try to structure it like this, some of them stick okay and then others don't. It's almost like you can't do more than one in a little setup. So they're a little awkward. They're not a perfect thing, but I thought it was kind of a cool creative idea to do. Maybe if they had put a little bit more thought into them themselves. There we go. We'll use this as kind of the display and then we'll go into the actual figures themselves. Okay, let's dump out our figures here. We got a bunch of them, holy crap. A good decent sized lot of these guys and they all seem to be in pretty good condition. So as you can see, they got that little fuzziness going on them. They feel nice. The felt is pretty good. But again, uh, the biggest problem most people have with these is that they just fall off and get really dirty really quickly, unfortunately. But we're going to check them all out just so you guys can take a look at what you'd be seeing from the Superstar series. This was one of the last series they did before they X-nade the whole group. I love this guy. He's such a cool character. I'm a really big fan of how he looks. It's kind of like a camera shutter type thing opening and closing the aperture let's get them in their little houses too you know let's see if we can fit them in there without them falling over it's a little bit tricky look at hazard oh the sharp hot pink in the superstars is really nice i think it works really well i'm a big fan of how those look at least for that flocking maneuver the yellow not so much i find that the yellow probably is the one that gets dirty the quickest but Here's our little Angiru looking sharp. Surprisingly, he is not a most wanted from the series and he is very top heavy. So he's fallen like four times already for me. Oh my goodness. All right, let's check out a few more. Again, it's all from like the nice classic first series, all the figures, very cool, very sharp, a lot of them. And they just put the flocking on them, which is funny. Oh, some people have tried to take the flocking off. In fact, I do have one that I'll show you guys that I did remove pretty i would say like 98 percent of the flocking i did remove just because it was so utterly destroyed and you know it's kind of unique just to see what they look like without pretty basic figures but you know maybe i can do a repaint on it or something like that here's another one bang the green and the orange look pretty sharp honestly oh he barely fits in that one okay stay in stay up oh look at our cyclops man he looks sharp too oh again that pink Pink looks really good, especially on him. And I like the kind of cutout it brings to the figure with the face and like the, the helmet or whatever you want to call it to his little outline. It pops it off quite a bit. So there's a little bit more depth in the mold. Here is Mosh. We've got him in like kind of like a more light orange, but his one, his looks always pretty clean in Superstars. I haven't seen a lot of really terrible Moshes 
thankfully. Look at this dude. Now, this one's not from the first series. So is this a Superstars original? It might be. It actually might be. He's kind of unique, kind of cool. Okay, here's one of our first most wanted. The most wanted are really unique, really sharp and cool in the Superstar series because they put this metallic, I don't know what piece of plastic or something to fill in on the molds. And it just looks really sharp. I love the look of the most wanted from Superstars. And I don't believe I have this color of him. I have him in a hot pink. I think this is Hirokiki or something like that. It's not Hir Hiraku, it's Hirokiki or something. Uh, but I don't know why they put him as the most wanted. He's my least favorite most wanted out of any of the most wanted. I don't like his, his mold and his look. Uh, but I will say again, the metal little thing that they did, I don't know, in implant, not implant, encasing, I don't know, looks really sharp. It makes them look amazing and that's why i think it was a missed opportunity with angiru to make him a most wanted again because i think he would look really sweet with some kind of metal part on him but this is a most wanted there's only three most wanted in the superstar series which is interesting as well that they chose to do so little but i believe this was a smaller batch of figures that you'd get so let's put him up there i have him i have the other one we're only missing one more of the most wanted which we will go into in a minute but here's fist look at fist looking sharp Again, it's hard to find these in great quality. So when you do, I usually try to grab them just because, yeah, if I can keep them in good condition, which, you know, I'll keep all these guys in really nice storage where they're not going to get beat up, scuffed up. I'm all about that. Here's another one. Very sharp looking. Nothing too crazy, though. Here's our little emo boy, which he's funny. This one's a little roughed up. The purple, well, the black, I would say, is fading a little bit on this one as well. Nasako, I believe, is this Nasako? He looks pretty sweet. He looks good and clean. It looks like, mm, well, his fists look like maybe they are getting worn off a little bit. Maybe it was like a green there on his fist, but it's coming off a little bit. They're not all gonna be perfect, unfortunately. We got our Smurf man. Now he's not from series one. Isn't he a series three explorer? Or is he power series? I can't remember but pretty sharp. Here's a good one, our little teddy bear man. He looks sharp. I like him a lot. Again, they, how they kind of molded the like plastic bits alongside the flocked, I think just really looks nice. Uh, big fan of this one. This one looks really good. Another series one hit. There we go. He's got that big explosion on his head. I forget your name, dude, but he's pretty solid. I think he looks good with that orange face, which he doesn't have in the original series. But I think it works really well for him. Another Smurf man. Obviously not a Smurf, but he reminds me of a Smurf just like the other guy. And our little apartments are filling up, so we're just going to have to start standing them up here. Oh, I love this dude. He's so cool. I kind of wish he had a Most Wanted version too if they did something like made it his ears metal or something. I think that would be really sweet. I keep having to adjust my lighting because it feels like the shadows on this are really strong. But here's a good classic one. I love his pose and stance. He looks good. Um... Maybe would have not preferred a green star. Maybe like a sharp yellow star would look sweet. Here's our little gingerbread man. That's what he reminds me of. He looks good with the blue and green like this. Ah, we have our eggy, our classic eggy. You know, every crazy bone group has to have their little egg figure. And I am a big fan of this one. This is from series four, at least the original mold, I believe. And he did have a most wanted version of series four power but not in this one, just a simple egg, but he's got a nice design with that white and then the flocked on the bottom. I think it works really well. He's a good one. I like this eggy. Pretty sure I still need to find the most wanted from series four of that guy as well. We've got our nice, cool sipping dude. I, I never get what's going on with his figure. I mean, I get he's sipping a drink, but I just don't understand the eyes. That orange is looking fresh though. Ah, yes, we have our rocket man looking clear as day. Oh, very sharp. With this little flower design, it kind of reminds me like a maybe like a SpongeBob cartoon figure almost. I don't know. The flower just looks like a flower thing from like SpongeBob underwater city stuff. Oh, we, we got a second one of him. Very sharp. I love the... Oh, I thought he had a tie on for a second. He doesn't. It's just a little circle, half circle thing. This guy's kind of cool. Look at that dark black flocking. He looks sweet, but it is hard to tell what's going on on the camera if, unless I bring up the shadows, but... He's pretty good too. I like him a lot. I like his, his form. He's kind of like a sitting teddy bear dude. Can I set him on these? I can set him up there on like the little peg systems, which is nice. Here's like a nice robot. He's fine. 
He's not my favorite mold or anything. Another cool one, this feels like an Explorer's mold almost. A lot of the Explorers are more thin and always have the little bloopy ears, it feels like. So I'm not sure exactly, I can't remember. This could be an original from Superstars, but it reminds me a lot of Explorers. Ah, Sato, Sato my boy. He looks fresh, really nice. Now the black of his little fists, they are fading a little bit, it almost looks like they were sitting on top of another yellow figure because it's got like yellow dusting on it. Mm, you can see this one, I don't believe that's part of the actual figure. So it got stained or something. But here's our other one. This one, I believe it was the bunny from series four. Uh, pretty cool figure from series four. I'm not a fan of this face for superstars though. It doesn't look great. It looks really kind of weird, uncanny valley-ish. Ah, our little frog. We got a frog man here. He almost looks like a Barney character, honestly. He could just fit in with the Barney crew, right? Our derpy little chin man, our Jay Leto chin with the big smile. Super goofy figure, but I like him. Ooh, we got a B-boy in here. Very sharp in a nice black as well. I wish the blue wasn't as muted. Give me a nice poppy blue. That would be fine. I'd be fine with that, but he looks good as well. Ooh, Tetris. We got our Tetris boy. He is fresh. I like him. This black on white look is very strong, very retro. I enjoy this greatly. That is sharp. We got our little squinty eyed girl here. I don't know how this would go over nowadays in our political climate, but she is a cool figure. One of the better girl figures from the Crazy Bone lineup, in my opinion. Ah, this one's a little rough. It looks like he's getting smudged, like the ink is smudging off on the top part here where he had a design. And it's just a gross yellow with green, in my opinion, too. It's not like the best one. Oh, we're getting down to it. We got this guy, which I love this guy. This is also from Power, uh, the Series 4 Power. He was a most wanted. You can kind of vaguely see it, but there is that little scar right here that goes across his eye cheek. And in the Power Series, he looks sharp as Most Wanted. Still need to get him too. I don't have a lot of the Most Wanted from Series 4, honestly, which, you know, can, are the boxes in frame? You can see them up here. We got the boxes. We've got the packs ready to open up soon, but he's a cool figure. I really like his design. Okay, we've only got two left and they are the Most Wanted Haraku. Can we get some kind of focus? Holy cow, there, <laughs> there it is. These guys look absolutely amazing. Let's focus on one for now. Now, I like the blue, the blue is fine, but I definitely prefer him with the black flocking. There's a black version where the flocking is that darker color, and then it's got this nice metallic red sheen with whatever kind of plastic, oops, plastic inlay they put on him, but the red just makes him look absolutely incredible. I'm such a big fan of this most wanted figure. It was the one I was missing. So I do have all three now, but we did get two and they're the same. So we got a double up of the blue one. I would love to get the black one in the future, but again, it's so hard to find these in good condition. So when I saw they had two of these guys in here and they were in solid shape, I had to grab the lot. And plus it came with all of these little apartment things or whatever you want to call them. So it was just a really good deal, a really good, uh, a really good find in my opinion to really get a few more of the superstars and keep them in a nice safe spot so they won't get ruined and kind of just keep them nice for a collectible value basically, because I think these guys are worth it to keep nice and neat. They weren't practical for playing with per se, but they were a nice little run of figures that had a creative, unique design. Let me go grab my collection of them. This is gonna be a little challenging, but here is my superstars bin. You can see them marked there. Here we go, we got them all in here. We got a good number of them. I'm gonna have to open it on the side and then kind of show off a few. You know what? I can go hands-free. I've got my top-down view here. Let me set that up really quick. That'll be easier. Okay, here we go. Now you can see the whole bin. Let's get this part open. There we are. So you can see I've got a good little number of these guys. They're all sorted out by color. I'm absolutely a huge fan of this boy. Really, really sharp looking. Let's look at my other most wanted. So there is a little hazard most wanted with the nice silvery metallic sheen. Looking sweet, I love this one. And an absolute banger of a most wanted. He is one of my favorites, man. It's our little Smurf, but he's got this really, really unique, really cool faceplate. It just makes him look super sick. I don't even know what to describe it as. But it just looks neat. Hey, you can see me in the reflection there. That's pretty funny. But yeah, he's a sharp one. I've only got one of him, but I would love to get more colors. 
I hope he comes in a hot pink because he would look sweet in a hot pink as well. Ah, here's my other one, my Hiroki or however you want to say it in that hot pink. So really sharp looking, really, really sharp. What are some other notable ones? This guy is really notable to me just because he's a really cool, cutesy little dinosaur. Also part of the Barney family if you want to go there. But I just love his mold. It's so terrific. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, I, what series is he? For? Is he a Superstars exclusive? Because I want to get more of him in just a regular, like just plastic version. That would be sweet, but I can't remember what series he's from. Trying to see. Here's a Mosh in a nice green. He looks fresh, kind of like throwing back to the classic version, but in the flocked. <laughs> we got our weird little like dog dude. I like him a lot too. He's kind of like the dinosaur. He just looks. He's a well-designed mold, and he looks sharp. I like it. And the teal blue is really good with these guys as well, most of the time. Again, one of those ones that kind of gets dirty easily. Most of the lighter colors kind of work that way. We've got some red. We didn't get a ton of red, did we? Oh, we've got this guy. He's a good one. He's a good little red one. Very sharp. Oh, do we have Nasako? We've got Nasako in a red. There you go. A nice crisper, clear thing. This one, I see maybe it is just this color. It's kind of like a brownish tinge, it's weird. Here's another little classic figure you guys would know and recognize. There we go. He's got like the double face thing going on. Good one as well. Oh, we've got another one of the, the girls here. Let's check her out. She's like singing. I like her head. I like her head design. It's like she's got two shells on her head, but it's a good sharp orange. It's clean. Here it is. Here's my one where the flocking came off of it. It's another one of our Smurf dudes, but you can see this is a... Uh, it fully polished up and cleaned up. There's like two minuscule points that still have a little bit of the fuzziness on it. But for the most part, it's cleaned off. I accidentally scratched it trying to like get the stuff off. And then I ended up just like soaking it in soapy water and then like peeling it off. So it came out pretty good. I was thinking about maybe trying to do painting on it or something. I got to rough it up and then see what happens. But this is how they look when all that flocking gets torn off. But usually they look gross and grody because the flocking will come off in patches and it just doesn't it just doesn't look right. Thankfully though, I don't have a lot of figures that are in patches coming off, which is good. So that uh, I'm happy about that. I don't have a lot of just super old grody ones. Here's another one of our eggy boy. And while we're here, since the lighting seems to be a little bit better, we could take another look at the Haraku Most Wanted. Look at that sheen. Look at that nice shiny metal. That is so slick looking. Absolutely love how these guys look. Any other figures we want to look at really quick here that are worth it? I mean, just a few. I'm going to have to start putting these away. I think they'll all fit in this one container, I'm hoping. One of these containers can fit about 100 Go-Go's if you do it right. Uh, and I've filled up a bunch of these pretty, pretty heavily. It's kind of funny how you have to finagle these things. But I do find they work well for storage. They do work pretty, pretty decently. I've always been happy with how they look and sit on the shelves over there the wall sits them perfectly which i appreciate or you here's another one we can look at he's got like moon eyes our little gingerbread man again which actually this is a double we got him already here's another weird goofy one that almost kind of looks like our other elf dude but i don't believe it's the same figure but it's odd it's almost like a pirate or something oh yeah our little teardrop guy in a hot pink oh he has no eyes do you, neither of them have eyes are the eyes coming off? I thought they had eyes. I guess not. Oh, well. No, I think he's supposed to. Yeah. See, the eyes are coming off, unfortunately. That's a bummer. I'm keeping them so nice, too. And these things just, they don't hold up. So here they all are once again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on the Superstars series. I'm still like, I like them. I do. And I really love the Most Wanted. But I am hesitant on the rest of the functionality of these dudes. But I want to hear your thoughts on these guys and whether the GoGo -Go community actually finds these somewhat decent and fun or if they're just a complete bust. Let me know. But leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for more Crazy Bone content. I have lots of things planned. I know I've been doing a lot of the openings lately, but Trust me, I'm dying to get into these boxes, so stay tuned for those. Until then, we will catch you guys in the next video.